everything I used to dream being real right now, now, now If it wasn't working, I'ma work it out, 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 yeah I keep on going till the lights go down, yeah Till the lights go Everybody wanna make millions How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here And I'm with my good buddy Blake He's been following the channel for a while He just got his truck done So in today's review, I've got an OBS Ford F-250 not with a 7.3 power stroke though, it's got a 12 valve swap in it. That's right, the classic 12 valve swap in an OBS. So let's get right into this review. I want to start out by saying that this is technically a Ford motor because it came out of a Ford dump truck. If you look on the side of the block of the 12 valve, it's it's got the Ford stamped on it, it says Ford Cummins on it. So technically, it's a Ford motor. I know I'm gonna get crap for saying that in the comments. That you're like, no, it's just a Cummins or it's a Dodge motor or whatever. But it is technically a technically a Ford motor. Um, the, the engine right now is bone stock. There has nothing been done to it yet. He's got plans in the future to do stuff to it. So you know, it's, you're, you're making your typical 12 valve power, about 200 something horsepower, and about close to 500 foot pounds of torque, which is still plenty for this truck. He's rolling on the same wheels I've got, 20 by 12 XD grenade with a milled accent finish on 35 inch mud tires. It actually rides really good for a leaf spring truck. Most of these trucks, when you drive them, they're like a fucking Bronco. You got the whole like, you know, like a, like a buckboard wagon going down the road. And as we're driving down this road right now, we have this track is straight, there's no jarring, there's no like you want to like make throw up out the window. It does what it's supposed to do, that's what it does. He, he's gonna use this as his tow rig and daily driver. He races quads, goes four wheel and stuff like that. So this truck is basically set up to be, at when he's done with it, a show truck, pull truck, and his daily driver. I mean, why not? The 12 valves are perfect for that. Um, some future mods too, he's gonna do, redo the whole interior on it. It's still ripped apart. He's working on doing a black leather interior and stuff like that to it. Um, he's gonna paint it a different color. He's gonna do all this stuff to his, to the truck. I mean, right now it's in the build process. Um, as you can hear. It gets up speed, no problem. Now. He is getting about 12 to 15 miles to the gallon out of it. Um, once you turn these 12 valves up though, they'll get a lot better mileage. But if you lift them and keep them stock, it's kind of the nature of the beast. It's like with any truck. When you lift them and keep the engine stock and don't add any more power to them, nine times out of 10, you're gonna lose a little bit of fuel economy. But that being said though, it still rides great. It doesn't do anything it's not supposed to. It sounds freaking amazing. You can hear that 12 valve, and that's that's the big allure with these 12 valves, like in Jordan's truck. They just had that unique sound that you're not gonna get anywhere else with a diesel. I mean, it just is what it is. He has been a good friend of mine for a while. He's been following the channel for a while. He's been telling me about this build. For a, for a while now and um, I've been so looking forward to the day where I get to do the review once the truck is completely 100% done with everything he wants done to it well I'll go back and I'll do another review on it then but right now it's in the build stages um, which is kind of cool though because I want to do the video like that so I can show the build process most people see the trucks now the build's done, you see it all dolled up, you see it all pretty, but you don't see what has gone into it. When he first bought the truck, picture me popping up right now, it was a bone stock truck with an, in, with an engine problem. It had, they come to find out, it had a cracked block. So they had to, so the, an engine swap was a must. They would have had to ripped it out anyways and gotten a, um, a newer 7.3 motor, but he found, he had, this one was laying in a shop, so they did a 12 valve swap instead. Which nothing to knock the 7.3 power stroke. 7.3 power stroke is one of the best engines ever made. But a 12 valve swap in these OBS's, is, it's like the perfect fit too. Like Ford should have came with an option, either a 7.3 OBS or a 12 valve Cummins in it. I mean, it fits the truck so well that it just looks awesome on this truck. And as you can hear, 
get a typical sound too. As you can see right now, I am not driving the truck. This is my first truck review without driving the truck. Um, due to insurance reasons for his insurance and stuff like that, well, I'm not going to be driving the truck, which is understandable. Um, every truck, every truck I review, I ask the owner that because I do not, God forbid something happens, I would not want to be responsible or liable for it. But that being said, though, it's still an awesome truck to ride in. The original, you still got the original seats in the truck, and they're still very comfortable. Like I'm not, I'm not hurting. I'm not, you know. My back doesn't hurt, they don't jar me, they don't do anything. The truck rides really, really well for the year of it that it is. And these OBS styles never go out of style. They're making a surge back, actually. People want to build these OBSs because they're so unique in their styling. People claim, quote unquote, this is the best year of the F-250s and F-350s to the engine they had in them and the body style and stuff. The only issue you really have with these bodies of these trucks is the fact that um, they rust out really easily. That's with every 90s truck though. And Blake is in the process of fixing all that right now. But unfortunately, the way these trucks were made back in the 90s, you just had, they, they had that issue. So it's unfortunate, but you know, it's kind of just one of those things to where it just happens. I mean, sometimes you get really lucky and sometimes you gotta fix the issues. But other than that, you mean you got a straight front axle, you got a you know rear axle that's bulletproof. I mean, all these trucks are just workhorses. That's what they were designed to do, and um, that's no different for um, any of them. So that's gonna do it for this week's truck review. If you like the video, guys, leave a like. Comment down below what you think about these 12 valve OBS swaps. A lot of people are starting to do them. And to me, I think it's like the perfect swap in them. But I want to hear your all's opinion. So I want to give a big shout out to Blake for getting up early in the morning and um, allowing me to do this review on his truck. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, join the Trucks and Water family. We are constantly growing. All of you have a great day. And remember, never give up on, on your dreams.